guys, welcome to another Disney Neighbor Watch. I'm Matt. I'm Pat. Welcome. Happy I'm Tuesday. Abe. Yeah, so uh, Brett's on assignment today. Um, he, he's out. He's out. He's out. Getting some getting some work done or information something. Information for Information us. for the next episode. Um, so let's start off with an uh, uh, interesting post. Uh, when you go to the grocery store, guys, and you go to the fruit section, do you uh, put stuff in a bag? Or do you uh, just think that no one's touched this, so I'm going to go home and just eat it you wash your fruit basically of course yeah someone posted about how like <laughs> she grapes. saw late yeah you saw that and yeah. i read i read pat's post oh, i usually wash i mean you always wash your fruit i mean well, just but if it's coming in from the field like someone picked it yeah so you someone should be, touched it yeah. should be washing it anyway there's some manure I mean, on it right yeah, there's pesticide i don't know yeah, there's dirt on there, right? At least rinse it, you know, thoroughly yeah. underwater. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. care if people pick something up and put it down. And That was my whole contention when COVID started anyway, because they're like, you need a mask. And people, all that stuff. But you still go in a store and touch something and look at it and put it back. Oh, yeah. Even well, as everything was highly infectious. I mean, I so I was just in uphill today, right? I didn't see our buddy Josh. I'm not sure. He must have had the day off. Probably the hop yard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, I mean, I, you know, I was picking up the apples, you know. I love their yeah. apples. But, you know, I put a couple back because they had a fountain yeah. bruise. Right? But, I'm not going to. Yeah, people look at you funny, though. Well, that's yeah, you got to inspect your fruit, man. Yeah, and, and people are posting like, hey, back in the day, you used to just eat a couple, you know, to make sure that oh, they were good. Oh, we always grab the grapes and yeah. have yeah. a couple. Oh, and... these are good. Like, yeah. if, speaking of grapes, like, have you had the cotton candy kind? Yeah. Oh, that's freaking amazing. Yeah, those are a trip. So, um. Cotton candy, that, that was a cotton hot candy flavored item. grapes. Yeah, you got to try those. They're delicious. Uh, but also about the grocery store, about like, you know, there was a post about doing your own checkout. Oh, yes. Your own, yes. bagging your own groceries, which a lot of places have self-checkout anyway. Yes, but the, with the shortages and the lack of pay, people are saying if you're physically able, help these people out and bag your own groceries. Yeah. Do you do that? Uh, well, I asked because I got yelled at one time, and now they're just like, yeah, please do. Oh, really? Because I stand there, and I just wait. Well, I think if you have to bag your own groceries, you should You get an employee discount. Yes. Or at least a bag. You should you at least get oh, yeah. the bag free, <laughs> or maybe you get like 10% ten off, cent. or just slip something into the bag that didn't go through the thing. Like, yes. Especially at self-checkout. You can just... You're basically working for what you bought. Well, yeah. I mean... Yeah. What if you went through the self check? You'd be doing it, right? Yeah, that's different. So, though. Normally, you have you don't have that many things in a self check, right? Yeah, that's true. Bill Burr, you guys know the comedian Bill yes, Burr. Yes. He's got a thing. He goes about this whole thing. He's like, I'm just gonna walk up and count up to five Mississippi <laughs> and leave <laughs> and just pretend I didn't didn't know. Oh, nobody showed up to check me out. <laughs> but, and I mean, then what if you're bagging your groceries and like bend over and hurt your back? Like, oh yeah, is that, that, do you get workman's comp? <laughs> I don't think so. Um, you just have to be employed, right? Well, I mean, I am actually a, either an employee or a yeah. slave at the store. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, so well, no, like... It ain't like the good old days. Like, Knob Hill, you know, there there was, like, a bagger today, so yeah. I wasn't going to jump in on his deal. You know what I mean? But if there was nobody there and they were struggling, I'd, you know... Yeah, if it was crowded... Well, well, you're to... waiting anyway, and he just speeds up yeah. to get you Listen, out of there, but I, I worked, agree with it. I worked... You're a bagger. In Ventura, you know... In Woodland Hills area, that place is crowded. You are constantly there's like 20 people in every line, and it was a Were stressful a job. I was a bagger. I was a bagger and a stressful. Checker. And they'd be like, yeah, sometimes the they'd be like, you're trying to be speed it up, and they're like, oh, please don't put that with that thing. And you're don't like, don't put oh, the canned goods with the vegetables, yeah. son. I know, and you're like, fuck. So you, oops, the backseat drivers. <laughs> Did you, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a lot of that. I worked at the market in Blackhawk, which is was Wurtz. Nice. But you had all those Blackhawk people yeah. being extra particular. Yeah, I get you. And then um, they were like, you charge me 10 cents too much for the salary. Well, it's, you're driving a Lamborghini. Well, <laughs> I guess that's why. Anyway. Uh, like, so those are the things. I mean, uh, there's pla there's an actual um, supermarket design where there's no baggers and you do your own thing. Well, they had that in Danville there before the Smart Final. And then I don't think it lasted mm -hmm. very long. Yeah, because people were like, I'm going to do my own stuff. Like, but yeah. No, it was the whole idea of these stores where you come in and or people are walking out, out with food, man, yeah. figuring a way to. Well, it's under. I think it's under a thousand dollars. I think it's what they were looking at too is like you would just you wouldn't even step up. You would just go out and they would scan everything yeah. and you'd get a you know, it would charge your credit card. You know what slows down the whole process though is before when this first came out, if you could buy alcohol through the self checkout, and somebody would stand there and just check your ID, yeah. Yeah. which anymore. was fine. 
Then some state lawmaker said we shouldn't allow that because kids are going yeah. through there. So if you got so, like so nine times out of ten, I I can't go through. The you want some crackers? <laughs> exactly. Abe can't do this. So anyway, but crazy. we got also uh, another hot hot topic for about the past ten days or so was the incident at Wells Middle School with uh, the principal. I think his name is Mr. Neal. Did you read about this? Mm -hmm. You didn't read about it, but I, I did. We were you just told about me it yeah. earlier. So me this t this principal who I think is highly respected. Um, there was an issue with this kid coming back on campus repeatedly, a high schooler, and they asked him to leave, and he was a former Wells student Already who graduated. I think uh, was a problem. Yeah, he's he's in high school at Dublin, coming back on the Wells campus, bothering havoc. kids, yeah. hmm. snuck into the dance, was trying to steal phones. I don't have the facts. I'm just paraphrasing what was on the post. And this one guy got on there and was just railing him, like, He's going to be working at McDonald's or Burger King come Monday. He shouldn't be hitting kids. Because what he did from what I heard was the kid had a phone and they were arguing. And he swatted the phone out of the kid's hand and it broke. Mm. And so he got put on administrative leave. But a lot of the teachers and staff are supporting him. A lot of the parents are. Well, his job is to protect the students. Yeah. yeah. They're like, you should never put your hands near a kid. So, you know what? Uh, I didn't. I hit his phone and I told him to get off campus. I'm protecting the current students, you know, so I remember, support them. Remember my buddy that we interviewed yes. that talked about the paddling? Yep. Yeah, in Texas. We need yeah. to bring that back. Yeah. So, anyway, but. So, you know, you were talking, we were talking also waiting for Ava, the encampment, the homeless encampment where they found fentanyl. Yeah. That was off of, uh, there was a post about a homeless man living on the interstate property on the off-ramp at Crow Canyon, southbound 680. And there was a tent there, and I guess. And then uh, last week there was police, hazmat vehicles, hmm. fire trucks for hours. And apparently there was a couple homeless people in there and some fentanyl, and they had to go clear it out. That, that is a, not a, that's a scary drug, so. Uh... Mm-hmm. You, know, you don't even know it's mixed in things too so right. for people out there be careful of what you are consuming because you have no clue what's in things yeah and uh, you've seen a lot of you know c plus celebrities lately have succumb succumb to um overdose accidental yeah well it's just so potent people you know they <clears throat> it's you know it's not like they're regulating it right it's just on the street mm -hmm. so you know a little too much and that's it so all she wrote right so. And if you don't have the the uh, Narcon, right? Narcan, 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 Narcan yeah. uh, to uh, the antidote, then you know your chances are pretty slim. Mm -hmm. So uh, be careful out there. Uh, let's stay right. on the homeless front. Uh, I know this is Castro Valley, but uh, there was a post that that someone was driving and they saw uh, an older lady butt naked peeing and pooping on the corner of uh, a that's church, sad. Presbyterian I'm laughing. church. I'm yeah. laughing, but that's so you know that's uh, other things. So you got to be careful with that. Yeah. Well got to watch out for the homeless. I mean, it's a sad situation, but nobody wants it in their backyard. Cor correct. So, what do they do? Um, you see cars have been broken into. Um, Sorry, we got Dodgers on right here. <laughs> <laughs> I just got I saw uh, cars. Cars so. have been broken into, and uh, that seems to be, you know, in areas of the city where it's closer to the freeways, like south san ramon or up on the hill there yeah a um, four-year-old truck was broken into you know a couple nights ago hmm. it's crazy right uh, there's a post of someone knocked on the door saying hey is your car for sale yeah you saw that one those happened and they said uh no it's not for sale and the next morning it was gone they stole it uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> should have sold should've, it yeah, should have said yes um that just like, sucks that's just there was uh <laughs> more of the um it's just with the wells, we got the uh, more people are talking about coyotes. Yeah, it's Our fall. Topic. It's that Co time of year. Coyotes, coyotes come, come back out, into the, uh... and um, you know they're looking for food, obviously, and dogs are easy prey. Yeah, well, it's unfortunate. Obviously, you know, I think if anybody would be upset if they lost a pet at the same time. You know, there's obviously certain areas where they come down, so you got to take precautions for right. sure. Yeah, there was a post where someone said, thank you uh, to whoever took my, uh, I think it was Chihuahua, 
to the vet because they stopped the coyote from attacking their dog. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, just wow. got to be careful. There's a lot of these small dogs have no chance against... Dogs and cats. Yeah, against a coyote. They're done. Denzo. And then uh, we had an incident last week at Cal High, right? A threat? Oh, yes, the threat where... I mean, we haven't heard anything else about that. Like, what happened it's to the pretty kid? pretty low-key. A student caused a threat, and there was a lot of police activity. And Basically said he was going to, like, do something to the school, you know? Mm -hmm. They put. They said it wasn't a lockdown, but they kept the kids inside during six periods. So, to me, that seems like a lockdown. Seems like a lockdown. Yeah. Hey, better safe than sorry. Yeah. Uh, well, one of the kids, Zach's friend, was like, uh, we're in this lockdown, and the kid that made the post is in the class with me. <laughs> so it was like, what the heck? You know? He's like, yeah. wait a minute. This doesn't work if you're locked down. He'll do nothing to the yeah. kid that made the post. Yeah. He'll, he'll get sent home. And well, I mean, you day. know, everyone, you, you know, you have to react, right? You, anytime anything is said or yeah, you've got you've to act. So, yes. Again, better safe than sorry. Totally, totally, totally. That's that's the hot items, man. Uh, yeah. Run for education. Um, the expo. The is expo. On the so we talked yeah. about that. Um, because the so the run, run is virtual. Then. Run is virtual. So the expo is when on the tenth. It's Sunday the tenth from twelve to two, and it's an expo. So the run is before or after. I'm not sure. It was virtual, right? Well, so yeah, the so run it, they just, opened it up on the twenty fifth, so you can do it any time. You okay. just go run and yeah. use your time. So then what? The, so the basically the, they it's asked us to MC the event again, expo. but unfortunately our schedule is not going to allow that. Uh, it's an unfortunate. We enjoyed doing it that one time, so uh, we appreciate the the, the invites. The invites, great. but um, he's going to be out of town. My son's turning eighteen. We'll be out of town, and, and I'll try to be rushing now. back. He's got a soccer tournament. His kids and yeah. Brett. Um, so, yeah, so unfortunately we can't do that. Um, it would have been nice to, to do we it. We just don't want to leave it to Brett to do solo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he told <laughs> So I have to give the unfortunate news. kidding, Brett. Uh, Love you. Basically tonight that we're unable to do it. Yeah. And also they'll see this post tomorrow that we're unable to do it. But we yep. appreciate the Thank you the for ask. the offer. Um, we would love to do it in the future. Um, I guess just it's hard. with the weird thing, it's just hard to, you know, what's happening in the world, you know. Yep. And that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you for another week it's and, been a good uh, week just stay strong and keep your heads up and uh things will get better peace peace guys love you guys bye